All right, another happy day. And another it's happy another day. Happy day. For happy Alan day. Barkin. It's certainly a, a, a happy day, you guys who sold your movie. It's the town is buzzing about it up here. And you're a producer on this movie, I which am. was the most interesting thing to me. I've obviously known you as an actress uh, forever and great and uh, with Vanity Fair and everything. And now this, how did you come to make this movie and make it happen? And it's it's truly an independent film. I mean, Demi was saying that Sam got to pick who he wanted, got the yeah. music he wanted. Yeah. He didn't he have to complete kind of creative control. Like have a cast complete. that moved the needle or nope. did any of that stuff. Nope. So tell nope. me about it. How? Well, Sam and I were doing a little movie. Uh, I was acting in a little genre movie, and he had done a rewrite on the script. So we met, um, and after about a week on the set, he asked me if I would read a script. Um, so I read it that night, and I sat in my hotel room bed and cried a lot and laughed out loud. And I just thought, wow, it would be a tragedy if this movie doesn't get made and I'm gonna make sure it gets made. Through a series of circumstances, I wound up being the only producer on the set. And for me, look, I've been acting for 30 years. I still love it. I learn a lot with every job, but I really learned how to do a brand new job here. Let's just give, I have to give a shout out, obviously as a producer, Ellen Barkin, but what about the actress, Ellen Barkin? What a part, I mean, it's, a great it's you're just, it's like, the meant for you, I mean, the balance of being like, kind of, the, you hate her and then you sympathize with her all at the same time, kind of happening in the same moment almost. I mean, oh, as the mother so of nice. this dysfunctional family, Thank you're trying you. to hold it together, the ex-husband, obviously marriage to me, to me just said that you told her it was a part that you normally play. Yeah. You're the, like the yeah. kind of oversexed, powerful, that's yeah. which I thought was kind of funny. Um, yeah, so, look, it, it was great. You know, it, it, it is that thing, and I think what drew me, drew me to it so much was everybody wants to be heard. And I guess we all, to a greater or lesser extent, have had points in our lives or our entire lives where we're not being heard or maybe we just feel like we're not being heard. And it was that idea of this woman at that age still having to walk around and just be screaming, please listen to me. Great, so just fast forward, like I know the Oscars are gonna be announced on Tuesday, but okay. if this movie gets nominated a year from now, then you would be up, right? Because producer, right? That's it's in your blood now. Forward. <laughs> I love Alan Barkin as a producer. That's, That's great. Not, it's a good, I like That's the great. job. Yeah. Because you know you what did. I realized? Yeah. First of all, it's a very maternal job, so you get to yeah. take care of everyone. But I like telling people what to do. Yeah. So <laughs> I thought, this is a perfect job for yeah. me. I can just great. tell everybody what to do so all day. And get That's paid it. for it. That's the best <laughs> no, thing. I didn't nah. get paid oh, for yeah. it here. <laughs> I guess so maybe. Maybe, maybe somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, Ellen. Thank you. Really excited. Thank you so yeah. much.